Hello everyone, Primo Warrior here, and today I'm going to talk about how to use melee attacks without any mana. And I'm gonna go over three ways how to do this. And I'm gonna start by talking about blood magic. Blood magic means that you're using your life instead of your mana pool. And to get blood magic, there are basically three ways, either to an item, as you can see right now on the screen. In the passive skill tree, you have blood magic, or through a blood magic support game. I'm not going to talk about uh, blood magic from uh, items. And the blood magic in the passive skill tree have one really big downside to the support game uh, blood magic. And that is, it uh, removes all of your mana. So if you're using blood magic in the passive skill tree, uh, you can't uh, use your uh, no, any auras anymore. Because it will just remove all of your mana. So you actually, uh, my recommendation is actually to use a blood magic game. So let's talk about a blood medic support game. This is how a blood medic support game uh, looks like. You just socket it into your, to your uh, skill, uh, to where you have your skill, so it supported, uh, supports your skill. And then you can use your life uh, instead of mana. Really simple, and you will get this uh, support game by doing quests for the Duelist and the Marodo, and some other classes in Act 3 or you can trade it with other people. So let's talk about the second options to use your attacks without mana. When you have leveled up Elrond to level 3 or higher, you have a chance to sell a special type of rings or amulets that flat reduces your mana cost of your skill. So let's take a look at Elrond selling it. And as you can see here, it does. You can see it reduces the flat uh, mana cost of skills. So this is applying to both medical skills and melee skills and also bow skills. It applies to every type of skills. And uh, I have a here a ring as well. You can see it uh, give minus uh, seven and this one minus six. The range are from level uh, from minus five up to eight. So if I equip this one, you can see right now my mana, mana cost for Blade Flurry are 11. If I equip this ring, you can see my mana cost go down to 4. And if you equip enough of these rings, you can essentially make your skill completely free. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good choice you have. And uh, keep an eye out for these rings, they are really good when you're leveling up a new character and to get in early game and even in late game they're really good you can still craft them so I highly recommending these types of ring for a lot of builds and a lot of skills and now we have come to the last options i want to show here today which are one of my favorite items in the entire game it is this unique axe here called soul taker you have this effect insignificant mana doesn't prevent your melee attacks and this is the weapon that allows this character to just yes, cont uh, continue attacking forever. I uh, just now using dual strike. You can see I can just yes, continue attacking, continue attacking, and as you can see, zero mana when I'm attacking. And if I take this weapon away, for example, I equip this sword here. You can see I just do in default attack. I have still no mana, and I can't pay for the mana cost for the attack and that's why I'm using uh, that's why I, uh, I can't use my attack anymore so that weapon allows me to use melee attacks without any mana technically it still uh, uses mana as I'm gonna show here in just a second I'm gonna take away some of my ores here and fill up my mana and you're going to see now my mana dropping when I'm using my melee attack as you can see it still takes mana but when I go down to Seer mana, I can continue attacking. So this is an amazing weapon if you don't want to think about mana cost. And when you equip it, it works for every melee skill you're using. But remember what I've said right there. Melee skill. Only melee skill. For example, you can see this one here. Blood Rage. I use Blood Rage in this build and... Uh, I need the mana still for Blood Rage because it's not a melee skill and this uh, this axe will not work with spell either. It's only melee that this axe works for. I can see right now I can't activate I can't activate Blood Rage. So you need to have either a Blood Medic setup or a little bit of mana, but if you have a little bit of mana, then Soul Taker is nothing for you. 
but just use a blood medic gem and you can activate your skill. I hope this uh, short guide here helps you when you if you want to sustain a melee attack issue. Just keep in mind that uh, melee attacks are not that expensive anymore, so it's not a really must do to have uh, free melee attacks. But if you want, I have just show three ways how to do it. And uh, please tell me in the comments if I forget something or if you want, uh, if you didn't understand something, please let me know and I'm gonna do my best to answer you. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.